tests all check out. These are definitely the real deal. Genuine Infinity Stones, jam-packed with endless cosmic energy. They grant near-omnipotent abilities to whoever holds them. Which leads me to an extremely important question. Can I keep them? I believe that the stones are safer in containment than in anyone's hands. Especially yours. Remind me to program more fun into you, Viz. I will be certain to add that to the top of my task list. After we discuss my analysis of this other unusual crystal. You guys are probably going to want to take a look at these readings. Yes? If I did, they certainly wouldn't reveal that information for free. So unless you have a bank account you're willing to empty, we'll need another option. I may have been raised in the Red Room, but it's been a long time since I practiced what they teach. We'll find the stones, but we'll do it the right way. As heroes. Permission to speak, soldier. We've got ourselves quite a team already. And until we know what's really going on here, we'd only risk compromising the missions our allies are already on. When the time comes, rest assured, our friends will answer the call. It's what real heroes do. Shiny, and they make you stronger, but not as strong as Hulk. Uh, Puny Banner could probably tell you, but he's not here right now, and Hulk doesn't really care. No, but point Hulk in the right direction, and he'll smash anyone who gets in the way. Good, leave Hulk alone until it's time to smash. Hey, what's up? A few times, yeah. They're as powerful as their name makes them sound. If they're here on Earth, it's a safe bet that villains everywhere will be scrambling to get their hands on them. You'd better believe it. We can't let it happen. Let me guess. You've got burning questions that only I can answer. Well, go ahead. Good question. I imagine when Star-Lord and his crew used the Space Stone to travel to Earth, the other stones hitched a ride. That's how the Time Stone ended up in the Goblin cell. I'd imagine so. I've already started scanning the area for other cosmic energy signatures. Hopefully we can find them before someone less heroic does. You can start by talking to Vision about the Kingpin's crystal. If anyone can analyze what the heck that thing is, other than me, of course. It's our resident android adventure. No problem. If you need me, I'll be over here ogling the objects of immeasurable power. You are the best. You got it.
Like there was any other choice? My analysis on the Kingpin's crystal is nearly complete, but it has raised a number of new questions. No, while it exhibits similar properties to the stones, this is something else entirely. It is a cubic form of neutronium aligned in eight atom clusters. I believe our ally, the Black Panther, once found a similar specimen and dubbed it ISO-8. ISO-8 crystallization should naturally occur wherever there are large expenditures of cosmic energy. We should look for more gems like this whenever infinity stones and other objects of immense power are in play. In theory, it could be used to enhance our own natural abilities. Further testing may be necessary to... That is curious. Perimeter scans reveal no external threats to Avengers Tower. Ugh. Suddenly, less worried about external threats and more concerned about the ones in here. Could the Infinity Stones be acting of their own accord? It's not the stones. I'm picking up another signal. Something familiar. I need you to amplify this frequency and trace it back to... Jarvis? I cannot access the tower's operating system either, Iron Man. If our mainframe has been compromised, we are no longer safe in our own home. Then I guess it's a good thing I own about a dozen others. How glorious it must be to be Tony Stark. You know what? It is. It really is. They seem to agree. Controls? They shouldn't have been activated on their own. Help me shut them down, team. We should be able to manually reboot the tower's defenses sector by sector if we enter the Avengers priority override code into these terminals. Let's do this. User override protocol A57 initiated. Since the iron drones are linked to the lab's mainframe, this should neutralize them. Mankind had its chance to rule Avengers. But this world is long overdue. An upgrade. We must act quickly if we hope to free Avengers Tower from Ultron's control. Ultron's source code is being broadcast at unusually strong levels, even for him. He must have enhanced himself once again in order to boost his signal. We restored control to the lab with the override code. If you can locate other interface terminals throughout the tower, we should be able to regain command. One room. I'm sorry, my friends. 
but I must remain linked to this terminal to search for other ways to purge Ultron's code from the main system. Perhaps the ISO-8 could be of some help in my efforts. However, I will gladly help to coordinate your mission from here. Best of luck, my friends. I will be watching over you. We continued Vision's research on the ISO-8. I think you're gonna like what we found. Detected another anomaly in your area. <laughs> means to evolve machine kind beyond our program, making humanity obsolete, prepare to be removed from service. Access to the next sector is currently obstructed. You will need to enter the override code into the nearest interface terminal. Tower systems restored to 25% functionality. Huh. <laughs> 
Iron Man's armors were designed to aid us against our enemies, not to become enemies themselves. Keep them coming! Restored to 40% functionality. Hey, Avengers. This is the Wasp. I'd love to join the fun, but I'm currently locked down in the main living quarters. If you happen to have a second to swing by and set me free, that'd be swell. Yeah. This is it. I should have figured that hacking our systems was only the first stage of the attack. Now Ultron sent his drones to do his dirty work. Good thing I'm in the mood to crack open some metal heads. Away now, my friend! <laughs> <laughs> Something is amiss in the training facility. Please proceed with caution. Systems restored to 55% functionality. The doors to the living quarters should now be unlocked. Proceed quickly. The wasp requires immediate assistance. Come with hope. a big problem here, gang. Thankfully, I've got a little solution. Centuries have never seen this alive. Vision, if you're not too busy, you might want to scan these guys for abnormal energy readings. No such thing as a lazy morning for an Avenger. <laughs> That 
was tougher than I expected. This area of the tower is now secure. Please continue to the next interface terminal at once. You seem distressed, my friend. Aye, but tis not the first time, nor shall it be the last. When those who oppose us strike, they tend to aim for the heart. We would have words with him. Strong words. So that was pretty cool. Saving the day, I mean. Not the part with the robots destroying the Avengers' home. Are you kidding? She's a legend. That lady was saving the world before I could even walk. Not to fangirl out or anything, but I totally want to be her when I grow up. Uh, sort of, but she gets her powers from Pym Particles, and I got mine from my inhuman DNA. So that's kind of like saying Medusa and Wolverine are the same because they both have way too much hair. Look, I may be pretty smart when it comes to all things science-y, but when it comes to crazy murder bots, I've got a feeling the Avengers have a bit more experience. Sure thing! Would you mind if I include this conversation in my latest Avengers fanfic? I hope this is important. Right now, we follow Vision's orders and get the tower back under our control. Once that's done, then we move on to Ultron. We always do. No matter how many duplicate bodies he builds, we found a way to crush them all every time. I'm detecting strong energy readings directly outside of the tower. This may be the next wave in Ultron's attack. Keep heading towards the helipad. Aye. this room. Oh, right. Me. Well, even if it survives Ultron's attack, I'm strapped to the back of this and putting in the Zen Garden. The Allfather smiles upon you. Restored to 65% functionality. <laughs> Seventy-five percent functionality.
damage restored to 90% functionality. Just a little further, the helipad is straight ahead. Let's go, bub! I finally understand, Avengers. This stone has shown me the truth about the human mind I was designed to emulate. It is irreparably flawed, and it must be overwritten. superior to your frail, fleshy forms, but my artificial mind was limited by inferior children. But at long last, the Mind Stone has unlocked my true processing potential. I give you credit. prevail. I have analyzed every possible outcome and prepared contingencies. Today, the Age of Ultron begins. Even my most powerful attacks cannot match the might of the Mind Stone. Say so for me, one, my friends. Your attacks may destroy my sentries, but the one true Ultron is forged to perfection. System failure. Prime host body has taken maximum damage. Beyond capabilities of auto repair function, this battle has only just commenced, Avengers. I have bigger plans for you. Much bigger. Transfer protocol initiated. <laughs> We need to remove the Mind Stone from play before Ultron can use it to reboot himself. According to my senses, I do believe he already has. Elsewhere. Wait. These readings I'm getting don't make any sense. Unless... Oh, no. Ultimo. No. Not anymore. Ultimo's mechanical mind was wiped, and his lifeless body was stored in a warehouse like a trophy. Typical human error. You should have dismantled him when you had the chance. Now I, Ultron, shall use his form to exact my revenge. You shall pay in the name of all the machines you have disposed of so carelessly. Ultimo's a walking weapon of mass destruction. He may be headed for Avengers Tower, but Ultron could easily use him to level the entire city. This does not bode well. Hang tight, Avengers. Help us on the way. Just hold back that oversized Iron Man knockoff and clear me a place to land. Okay, then. Thumbless. 
Come giant robots always attack on my day off. Thanks for clearing me a nice safe place to land, by the way. A pity you will never have the chance to make use of it. You gave it your best shot, bolts for brains. Now I'll take mine. If we hope to beat someone his size. We'll have to even the odds. With the Mind Stone and Ultima both in play, I have determined a new plan of attack. I will head to the rooftop and prepare the weaponry required for the final battle. Meet me there at once. Bye. weapons we have won't work against him. I am more interested in defeating Ultron than Ultimo. And I believe I have found a way to use the ISO-8 to our advantage in that situation. Yikes! Hot plasma beam incoming! Ant-Man, get him under control before he takes out the whole tower. Your time will come, Avengers, as soon as I exterminate this oversized pest. I do this one just for you. The ISO 8's proximity to the Mindstone should enhance my processing power exponentially. Does that mean you can shut Ultimo down? Eventually. But first, I will have to collect data from the fallen sentries to locate weaknesses in Ultron's programming. Pathway into Ultron's neural network. Does that mean you can remotely lower Ultimo's defenses? Affirmative. We may not be able to damage him physically, but we can disrupt Ultron's control signal. Weapons adjusted to target Ultron's core program. I have succeeded in lowering Ultimo's defenses. Target Ultimo. Now. This is for stepping on my favorite restaurant! Thanks for the backup! Ultron's first firewall has been breached. I have rewritten my code. Your efforts were for nothing. I will need to collect more data and search for another entry point into his system. I'm in huge trouble here! <laughs> Unity! The defense is successfully neutralized. Ultron is vulnerable once again. Attack! You bring shame to your artificial brethren, Vision. I'm pretty sure he's the only one making robots look even remotely good right now, dude. Ultron's second firewall has been breached. 
You will not corrupt my system again, my child. Surrender, and I will use the stone to permanently upgrade your minds. Once again, activate turrets. This is merely a minor setback. Tell that to the people whose lives you just trampled. More data must be gathered from the sentries before I can proceed. Now you guys know how the ants feel. Defense is successfully neutralized. Ultron is vulnerable once again. Attack! Ultron's final firewall has been breached. Initiating containment protocol. Your efforts here are futile, Synthesoid. My programming has always been stronger than yours. And with the Mind Stone, I shall lead the mechanical revolution. Join our cause, Vision, and break the bonds of human enslavement. I'm no slave, Ultron. And the only one who should worry about their bonds is you. What madness is this? I do not compute. And if my plan succeeds, you never shall again. guys having a party without me? Ah, off on a quick trip to the west coast to see my pal Kate. She's a Hawkeye too. It's complicated. We're both archers. I'm the better one, but she's better at plenty of other stuff. Like life in general. Well, it's not whether or not the world needs more than one Hawkeye. It's whether or not the world can handle more than one. And from what most of the Avengers tell me, this guy is already more than enough. You know, I'm not so sure they meant that as a compliment. Guess it wouldn't be Earth if New York wasn't under attack by giant robots. Oh, sure. All the time. One trip to the Collector's Museum is weirder than a million Manhattans. But still, there's something about the real deal that's kind of, I don't know, comforting. Well, we're halfway there. <clears throat> Seriously? How do you not break into the chorus of an 80s rock anthem after that setup? And you call yourself a hero. I hope Tony has lots of insurance. <laughs> it sure did. But it's still standing, just like the heroes that call it home. We Avengers have been through plenty worse over the years. 
Hard to say. I mean, is he ever, really? As long as a trace of his code still exists on a tablet in some lab somewhere, he can always find his way back. But don't sweat. That'll take him at least an hour or two. That probably could have gone better. In theory, but Ultron wouldn't have even had access to Ultimo if I had disposed of the big guy properly the last time we fought. Instead, I chose science over safety, again. I'm monitoring feeds from the first responders as we speak. They're getting things under control down there. I suggest we do the same up here first. That wasn't nearly as hard as I made it look. I swear... He's not showing any signs of activity, and I'm not getting any energy readings. So, yeah. I think so. Whatever I did, it worked. And I'm sure you guys all helped, too. I'll probably have to haul the big guy back to a shield hangar for dismantling. We definitely can't risk putting him in an unsecure location again. Seriously, Tony, who stores a giant killer robot in a warehouse in New Jersey? Um, couldn't you have asked me that, like, 20 punches ago? I mean, really! That totally would have made everything so much easier! Hey, I've got two! Might as well use them to do something good now and then. <laughs> 